Greetings, greetings everyone. Dr. Akina Finch here. I'm just sitting here working on the Dr. Akina Finch page and I figured I'd pop in and do some talking. How about that? Hello. How are you? Hello everyone. Hello, hello. I've been off Periscope for a little bit, but now I'm back. Can you believe it? I was actually off of Periscope. Stop the madness right now. Well, I did my podcast yesterday, but other than that. Hello, Dr. Fee. Hello, Prosper Props. I like that. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, my ladies. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about things that can spin off from Periscope. All right. So I'm going to tell you where I was when I first started at Periscope, before I started Periscoping. And then I'm going to tell you where I am now. Okay? So, hello, Ty Tyler. I need to hear some positivity today. Are you getting ready to get some? You're getting ready to get some. <laughs> so, when I started periscoping last July, I had a podcast. I had social media proof, you know. But, you know, my Facebook was only, you know, like, my Facebook profile was like 1200 people what have you know and it goes all the way to 5000 and you know my my twitter was probably at maybe just breaking 10000 you know uh if it was even breaking 10000 yet it was probably like 8000 or something like that and you know instagram and all the others and I said, okay, I have all these things that I'm doing out here, but what is going to catapult what I do? Hello, Michelle, how are you? That was a very good question. And I never thought that it was going to be Periscope. Periscope, one day I decided that I was just going to push the broadcast button while I was waiting on a Twitter chat. And I went on, my first broadcast was talking about the benefits of a Twitter chat. And because I was waiting on one. So might as well talk about what I knew at the time, right? And I was like, ooh, and then people start engaging with me. And I said, okay, we can do that. We can do this. I like this feeling. And then the next thing I tried, because I'm a mu lover of music. I am definitely a lover of music. So I did a uh Friday night jam session. And I invited people to come and listen to music while we talked. And it was such a easy way to wind down the day, yet connect. And I think that's where I met Doc, um, Ty Tyler and a few others that's on here. Yes, Dr. Finch, you were one of my first girls I ever watched. Yes, yes. <laughs> I've been on your scope set. You've been there too? Yes, Michelle. Michelle's been on there too. And so from that, I start building community, right? Yes, Dr. Fee. Yes, I met Dr. Fee, and she is awesome as well. I know I missed the parties too, but then, you know, they start talking about legalities and all of this. And I'm like, child, I'm not going to go to jail over some music. Boy, I sound confident. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, I it may not be. It might be the fact that I'm living in my power. That's what it is, you know? I'm living in my power and I'm living in my purpose. And the things that I don't like about my power or my purpose, I am changing them. And that's the thing that you have to realize, you know? And once you get to that point where enough is enough, where you're not going to take it anymore, that's when you're going to realize that the confidence is going to shine through because you're going to know who you are. Da, uh, Jason Hodge. Jason Hodge, how are you, my brother? That's great. Keep doing that. Yes, exactly. Everybody needs to do that, you know, because you got to clean, you got to clean it out. Now, so I'm getting, I'm building up to the, to the point, ladies and gentlemen, I promise. So now I'm scoping on the regular. I'm building community. I'm meeting great people like Jay Hodge. I'm meeting great people like Evangelist Val. Yes, it has been a while. I'm meeting all these wonderful people. And 
Ty Tyler and all of these people and you're building your following. So what comes next? What comes next? A Facebook group. That is the first thing that sp usually spins off of a Periscope. Why does it spin off? Because you are building what a tribe. Pe just, just like Perry Girls. Perry Girls was a couple of people that broadcast and then she started a Facebook group and it grew from there. The interaction can't happen. The two-way interaction really can't happen as much as you wanted to on Periscope. So what? You take it to a Facebook group and you start building the community there and you start building the networking and the collaboration. So every from Periscope, you build that community that you want. Hello, Inspired by Vanessa. Inspired by Vanessa. She's part of my uh, Scope Masterminds Facebook group. And from there, we decided that we were going to do what? A pass to cast. Why is a pass to cast important? Because it gives people opportunities to scope. It gives people opportunities to learn about their community. It gives people, uh, you love it, thank you. It gives people opportunity to learn about what they do. Good info as usual. Yes. Oh, I got more. Don't trust me. Don't leave me now. I got some more. So, now that you got this Facebook group and you have this growing tribe, right? What else can you do with Periscope, right? Most people go towards the level of monetization. So, they use it to broadcast. You know, got to fight it through how you be. How to fight it through. How do you get into Facebook group? Oh, okay. Do you want into my particular Facebook group or Facebook groups in general? Hello. Hello, Juan. How are you? So, now that you got the Facebook group, yes, break it down, sis. I'm good. <laughs> So is it Facebook, uh, now that you have the Facebook group, then you want to get, you know, uh, some people go the route of monetization. That's where they have all these different packages or products or teaching that they're doing. Hello, Krista, how are you? And so I know that Jay Hodge has the, uh, what is it? The hack attack? I I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> but it's three of them that come together. I'm, and I know it has something to do with hacking. Yes, the hack district. Thank you, my brother. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I I understand, Juan, and I'm coming to you, my brother. Oh, Juan, uh, Vanessa Canterbury. That's Inspired Vanessa. That's my co-host right there. So now y'all in the same area. Juan, meet Vanessa. Vanessa, meet Juan. Okay. So back to what I'm saying. So the hack district. Now, from the hack district, these three people may have not even met each other had they not been scoping. Right, Jason? Okay. And so Facebook group. How? Okay. So we're back. Oh, we're back to Facebook group. I'm sorry. I moved forward. Okay. So Facebook group. How to get into my Facebook group is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash scope mastermind or you could just put scope mastermind in the search box and it'll bring you right to you and i'll accept you right away hello angelo how are you my darling yes i did i answer your question my sister zoe okay let me know if i answered your question hello dear so we can talk. oh all right yes that was for vanessa not for me okay wonderful so now so now we got the Facebook group. We're building the tribe. You got no? Okay, what what am I tell me what you're asking me then? Let me know what I'm what you're asking me. How to build a Facebook group? Hello, Jane. How are you? I'm waiting on a question here so that I can answer it here. So we're talking about, hey, how to build a Facebook group. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you for putting in the uh, group. 
All right. So basically, you just go over, you create your your page. Uh, you will tell it what you want it to do. So if you want it to be a community, if you want it to be um, uh, a store, a cause, or whatever, you'll decide that. And then you'll just set it up. You just need to get you, make sure that you have a profile p cover picture and uh, you start inviting your members. I personally keep mine closed so that I know exactly who's coming in. That is very, very important because if you just are, because I'm, we have a special niche, but you can also make it public so that anybody can join as well. Okay? Very good. So now, now that we answered that, then we're going over to not only you start your tribe, you're starting your tribe, you're building up your following, you're posting your scopes on your page, right? You're letting people know about what you're doing. Hello, Bible News Radio. You're starting to let people know about what you're doing. You're starting to really get the feeling in. Uh, Jason, are you still here? Because I was making an exam, I was saying something about you in the hack district. Hey, Stacy's in the house. Okay, very good. So Jason Hodge and Desiree Lee and, of course, the Perry Hacker himself, Mr. Arvin Poole, they all are part of the hack district. And they brought their talents together because they met on Periscope, right? And they brought their talents together, and now that they are doing a nice collaborative together. Now, that is another way that you can go. You can build collaborations. If you have something that you can build, that you can go together, collaborate with people. Why do all the work yourself when you can spread the love, you can get out to your community, and better yet, you can reach a bigger audience when there's more of you, right? Exactly, okay? So that is another part of the power of Periscope. What springs off from, <laughs> yes, yes, people can tell, people can tell. And so you got to start really letting people know about yourself and doing collaborations. Why hold everything in your hand instead of giving it out to the people? People can't snatch it out of your hand if you give it freely. And that's what people don't understand about collaboration. You never know what you're missing out of when you're coming from a place of no. You need to open up your hand and come from a place of yes and start the growth to happening. Not everybody's trying to scam you. Not everybody is trying to take a, get a quick buck. Some people are just trying to get into another audience space that you may provide yet have the same services that you provide and y'all provide them together so you have to do half of the work in a quicker amount of time and you are helping people in the process what's wrong with that yes teamwork makes the dream work okay so that is another spinoff collaborations they should be happening I'm so glad I popped into this scope. <laughs> well, thank you. You know, every once in a while, I have a good one, Jason. I appreciate you, my brother. <laughs> so, now, with collaborations, this is important. Why be the best kept secret when you could be a household name? Okay? And collaborations will help you with that. It shows yourself friendly. It shows you to be approved, and it shows you to be a team player. Nobody wants to follow somebody that can't follow. Did you hear that? Nobody wants to follow somebody that can't follow. Everybody has a chance to take the lead in the collaboration. And if you have to be the lead all the time, then Houston, there's a problem. Okay? That's good teamwork. Right, naturally. So, that is one thing that it shows. It shows that you are authentic human being that has no problem sharing and giving of your time and your talents while helping others 
while reaching your goal. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. So we have built a Facebook group and we've built our tribe. We started putting out our name for ourselves. Then we start collaborating and we started helping others who are in our same field build a brand and better yet build a brand together. So not only are you building your collective brand, but you're building your individual brands as well. And there's nothing wrong with that as well. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. Then, yes, leaders always are students open to learn more. Exactly. Nothing wrong with that. Then, another spinoff that you can have, of course, is the monetization. You might have a product. You might have coaching sessions. You might have services that you provide that you think would help others. And you have this business and you might as well let it out there, right? You may be an author. You may be a speaker. You might do training courses. What, what's your diet of? Oh, area of expertise. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I am a motivational and social media expert. That's usually, those are my areas. Yes. Yes. I do education, motivation, and social media. Yes. I know autocorrect is a mess, honey. Autocorrect is a mess. No worries. I got it. So, yes, you will find me, if I'm ever scoping, it will be about education, motivation, or social media. Those are my areas. Yes. Education. Yes, I am a Ph.D., professor, and university dean. So, that's the education piece. Motivation. I help others reach their potential. I am a certified coach. And then social media. I do um, have been teaching and training social media since 2008. Awesome. Thank you for asking though, Zoe. I appreciate you. You know, I don't ever really tell people that. A lot of people may have been asking. <laughs> so you helped a lot of people. A lot of people have been wondering, what does she do? <laughs> so thank you for letting me share. <laughs> so now when we got this spinoff, so you got your Facebook, you're doing your collaborations. Everything is flowing great. The funny part is that those of us who have been scoping long enough know how to read all the exactly yes most definitely i definitely <laughs> that's true and so now i'm at <laughs> yeah um, yes the bomb doctor you are awesome thank you vanessa so now you're trucking along and you're doing these collaborations. Now we're getting ready. Hello, D. Lee. How are you? That's part two of the hack district. So we have two pieces of the hack district. We only missing one part, which is Alvin Pool today. Alvin Pool today. So hello, my sister. So now it's time to have you have a product, if you have a service, what have you. Now it's the monetization piece, right? A lot of people have been spinning off and starting their products. They've been starting their coaching businesses. They've been starting their training programs. All of this, you got to go to bed. Okay, Zoe, well, definitely check the replay. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate you. So you have all of these different people and these different things, right? So now you're ready to monetize. But the one thing about it is we can't shove things down people's throat. We have to survey the audience because you can't, it needs to be in line with what we have been talking about in the beginning. If we're trying to sell something that we haven't been talking about in the beginning, there's something that's, they're not following you in the beginning. They're, oh, hello, pastor. How are you, my sister? Then it's not going to convert. Okay. And that's real talk. Don't try to, Reinvent the wheel once it's time to make money. Okay? Right? That, I mean, come on, why not? You know? Because 
you have all these people that's following you for one reason, then you just throw them a curveball. And they're like, what is this? This is not your brand. This is not who I follow. How many of us have done that on Periscope, right? I'm I'm following this person. I'm following this person. I'm getting some good meat. They giving me some good meat. And then when they sell a product, it's about pizza making. You've been motivating me for two months now. And when your product comes out, you're talking about pizza making. How is this congruent to the brand? Hello, it's been a while. Yes, my sister. But people do it and think that this is cool. They think just because they have the numbers, people will buy anything. Come on, somebody. All right. <laughs> right. You're funny, Dr. Fee. But you understand what I'm saying. Dr. Fee is a psychiatrist. If she came up here talking about making a book about my famous recipes, they'd be like, but I come to your scopes to hear about trauma. And addiction. <laughs> I'm not coming to talk, read about your cooking. When have you ever talked to me about your cooking and why are you presenting this to me? <laughs> so we got to make sure that we're congruent. And that's the same thing with our social media. If we're on here, I love cooking too. I do. But if we're on social media and we're talking about this, that, and the third, right? And then we go on to another, our Instagram. Yes, I love eating as well, too, Cindy. Yeah, yeah, Stacy, most definitely. <laughs> yes. But if we're, let's say, let's use the hack district for, uh, for instance. So I know that, uh, my sister here, she writes books. So if I go to her social media, I should see something about the books that she's written. I should see about how she self-publishes. I should see things in that nature. So if I go on there and I'm seeing about how she's building houses, how she's flipping houses, yet very lucrative, but that is not what I come to see, right? I come to hear about her books and how she's publishing them and how she can, how I can publish them fast, right? But no, I'm now she's talking about flipping houses on Facebook. She's talking about books on Periscope. She's talking about cooking on Instagram. And, and this is not D. I'm just using her as an example. <laughs> but this is not what she's doing, okay? Please don't take this out of context, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm not messing up no brands today. <laughs> But you would feel some kind of way because you were like, this is not the person that I met on Periscope. I want to continue following them past Periscope, but I want the person that I met on Periscope. I don't want this house flipper. I don't want this pizza seller. I want the motivator that's telling me about my books. Right? And so I should get this same touch each time that I go to any of your social media handles because that's the person that I fell in love with. Right? Makes perfect sense. So how can someone change it? It's simple. Now, it's tip one, though. <laughs> yes, I do. Too. Now, tip one is that you need to speak in the speak of the social media handle. Prime example, speaking in 140 characters on Twitter versus speaking in an epilogue on Facebook. You know, you got to speak to speak, but it needs to be the same consistent message. And so once you realize that whatever it is, if platform... If Periscope is the platform that's moving your audience, that is what needs to be driving the rest of your social media. Yes, and don't fake the funk. You've been on too many of my scopes there, Fee. <laughs> Fee is using one of my Finch-isms. <laughs> social media platform, similar but not the same. Right. That means that... um. 
It needs to have the feel of the actual social media platform, yet you need to be speaking in a consistent feel. So they all know that it's D. Lee, no matter what. D. Lee on Instagram, D. Lee on Facebook, D. Lee on Twitter is going to give me the same feel. Okay? That D. Lee on Periscope gives me. Yes. Well, thank you, my sister. <laughs> so now you're monetizing now. Okay? So we're monetizing. So right now, so far, we've talked about the Facebook groups, building the community, taking the people who are following you from Periscope and bringing them over to a place where you can connect. That is your Facebook group platform. Now, you can have a Facebook page, but your Facebook group is where they can actually engage in everything with you. Okay, so you definitely want to do that. That's where you build your um tribe. So I do believe y'all the hackery or something to or one of y'all is the hackery. So <laughs> so that is a group where you would make that page and then y'all would engage in that. All right. Then <laughs> he's laughing at me because I am jacking this all up. Have you ever heard of Blab? Yes, I have heard of Blab. Done several Blab interviews. Blab is an awesome spinoff of Periscope. So now that you have done Periscope, and let's say you are now an influencer. Many of the people on this call are influencers. So let's say they decide that they want to start doing interviews, okay? I'm doing great. Thank you. <laughs> and so... Let's say you want to decide to start doing the interviews. Blab is a great, great, great platform to start doing those interviews because it's one-on-one -on -one or up to four, and then you can it converts directly into a f platform where you can put it on your YouTube channel. You can repurpose this. It can make great blog posts the whole nine yards. And what? You don't like Blab? It's for some. You know, if you are introvert, most introverts don't like Blab because they like the intimacy of just seeing them versus having all of the faces and everything. Yeah, but now extroverts love it. Yeah, I get to talk to the world. <laughs> You know, and then, of course, when you get them crazy trolls, honey, yes, the connection is bad, too, right? Uh, when it was first starting, yeah, it was a mess. It was it was a mess. <laughs> and then things don't work, and then it freezes out on you. Now, see, you are the perfect uh, person for Blab, Jason. Jason has that outgoing... Uh, personality he loves to talk to people he loves sharing so him having a show on blab would be ideal because he can share his knowledge he could share other people who have a sense of knowledge he could collaborate with others yes <laughs> yes he does and then that would be a catapult to what raise his brand that would be perfect for someone like him right you know, and then it's awesomeness. You know, once you get into your niche and you work it, that's perfectly fine. So let's see. So now we got the classes. We got the monetization. We have the collaborations. We have the tribes. That's the Facebook groups. So there's so many other things you can do. You can do the blabs, which turn into what? Not only can you use the blabs for interviewing, but they also become in uh, YouTubes or iTunes, and you can turn it into a podcast on top of that. How cool is that? That is one of the things that Vicki Fitch does. She does the blab. She does the interview. She then downloads that to YouTube, uh, to iTunes, and now she has a podcast. So how cool is that, right? I'm hacking it out. Well, coming from the two of you, uh, coming from you, D, I will take that. That means, yes, yes, you pull off the audio, turn it into a podcast. How cool is that? Number one, leverage. And then that podcast, what? Builds your brand. 
So all of these things started just because you decided to put the broadcast button. How cool is that? Right? How cool is that? You build collect. Hello, how are you, sir? Uh, Lisa, who is that? Saw your picture a little too late. Yes, it is too cool. It is too cool. So you got a tribe that you're building. And you're connecting and you're being authentic, right? Then, yes, transcribing. Yes, you can also transcribe them and turn them into blog posts. You can turn them into Facebook posts. You can turn them into memes. How many of y'all use memes? I love my little memes. And Ebola? <laughs> yes. What is a meme? Uh, the picture ebooks. Yes, you can also turn them into ebooks. And what is a meme? A meme is those little pictures that you see that have little sayings on them and pictures behind them. Yes, <laughs> those are memes. So I use mine. I just put my picture on the side and then I put one of my finchisms on there, and that is a meme. And they do very well on Twitter cards. So if you're doing all those um, advertisements for your books, you can turn those books into Twitter cards. You can turn your podcast into Twitter cards. You can turn your advertisements into Twitter cards. And then you can actually have the picture there where they can download it and go on there all through Twitter without leaving the stack. Just saying. That's a tip that I do it for free. Some of y'all probably already knew that, though. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what are Twitter cards? Twitter cards are those little advertisements that you see on Twitter when they say, you know, sponsored by or download or uh, click here. Those are Twitter cards. So there are so many things that you can start with just pushing the broadcast button so let me serve it you've been you met oh no oh no well in that case uh have you tried um there's a website where you can do all of your uh cards for free i know right oh no we well, have to definitely fix that hello how are you now, so you got all these spinoffs for this podcast. Hello, I stay woke. <laughs> I love this black power. All right. I love the little fist. They're so cute. Oh, you thought you were buying the domain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they try to get you with the uh, extra cards and all that other stuff. Yeah. Yep, that's called an upsell. You got upselled, Dr. Fee. <laughs> <laughs> that is another thing that you will, can do from Paris uh from Periscope. You got upselled. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, upsells are great. <laughs> but when you are upselling, the people need to know that they are being upselled. That is uncool, but for the most part <laughs> You thought you thought of buying the domain to fix the problem. Oh, that would be hot. And then just direct it to your main website. Yep, just do a direct over there, and you don't even have to change it up. Fee, you're so smart. I must say, I could learn a lot from Fee. <laughs> Now, so, yep, she is my type of lady. Yes, she is. Now, I'm going to open the table to you. What have you used to spin off from Periscope? So, right now, we have the Facebook groups. We have the, um, the podcast. We have the interviews. YouTube videos, okay. All right, anybody else? Boost your following on all the platforms, exactly. Because once events, exactly. 
Speaking engagements are the bomb. New business ventures, yes, downloads, awesome, awesome. You use it for your radio show, exactly. How, yes, how, I know that name now. Thank you for saying that, yes. Replays for sale, yes, they can become um, a nice little library of sorts. You can put all your replays together and they can become a course. How cool is that? Yes, that's a good one. I love that one. I love the download aspect. Love the events. The events are great. And you know, Periscope is very, very good about the events because you are your authentic self. You are giving your time and you're giving this value for free on Periscope, right? So the natural thought is that if this is what they do on the regular in their free time, imagine what's going to happen when I pay them to come to my event. Imagine what's going to happen. Yes. So if you've fallen in love with the real thing, and see, that's why I love Periscope, because it shows who you really are. It shows your true knowledge. It shows your true presence, so you know what you're going to get when you book the person. Because you know what? You can't fake the funk. Yes, it's on the fly. It's on the cuff. You can't fake the funk on Periscope. You can sit up there and you can tweak them YouTube videos. You can tweak them Facebook videos. You can do all of that on the Twitter and on the Instagram. You can cut out those pieces. But on Periscope, you can't fake the funk. So they know exactly what they're going to get. Hello, Dr. Will Smith uh, speaks. And I also saw uh, RMBA. Hello, my sister. Yes. See? So we're talking about spinoffs, about things. Now, Dr. Will Speaks, he uses his periscopes, and from his periscopes, he uh, does his events and his masterminds and his books, and he makes, uh, you know, which leads into the monetary zone that we were talking about earlier. He's the prime example of that. So he makes his classes, and we talked about classes and training. Then he sells his books and then but it all starts from the value that he's giving on Periscope. And from that, they're realizing this is what I get for free. Imagine what I'm gonna get when I come to a mastermind. Imagine what I'm gonna get when I buy that book. Imagine what I'm gonna get when I get that package. Imagine what I'm gonna get. And it's all because you're on here. Oh, they were watching you on Apple TV. I have Apple TV too. Um, so I'm such a checkie. <laughs> love, love, love the stuff. And see, Apple TV, that's another thing. If people watch you on Apple TV, then you are all across that screen. You are live and living color, boo. <laughs> so that's another way that you can market this thing. Now, I know my sister, RMBA, she talks about finances. So from the finances, you were listening to her good stuff, right? And then the next thing we know, I looked like I was made for TV. I bet you, you did. I know you were beaming from ear to ear. You were working it. <laughs> and now from that piece, then you can do the blabs and the interviews. Then you can take the blabs in the interviews, turn them into YouTube videos. Those YouTube videos then become a course that you can sell. Then from there, or use Vimeo. Vimeo, you can actually password protect. I like Vimeo for that reason. And then you have this place where they can go and buy a full package from you right there on your page. So basically, you go from, yes, repurposing. See, that's what I'm talking about. There's RMBA. That's the finance queen right there. So y'all need to get with her. She talks about them deductions. I feel them deductions, girl. I was feeling them deductions during tax season. I was channeling you, girl. I just had to throw that shout out there. I'm challenging you with them deductions. So, <laughs> we be hustling hard. 
<laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, right? Me too, right? <laughs> but see, it's all about the repurposing. It's all about the repurposing. Because what's the point of doing it on Periscope when uh only not not don't do Periscope, right? Now, repurposing because guess what? Your entire audience, some people are still saying, what is Periscope? Boom. So say that. Some people in this world are still saying, what is Periscope? So how many people are you missing? How many people are missing your message just because you're doing it all on Periscope and nowhere else? You have some people that only follow you on Facebook. You have some people that only follow you on Instagram. You have some people that only read your blog posts. So you have to repurpose this content. You have to repurpose this content in order to reach your masses. Yes. And it brings new people to the fold. That's the important thing. So these are the things you need to do to get these spinoffs. And you're right. It only lasts 24 hours. So let's say we don't have a catch account. We lost a lot of content. We lost a lot of content. So that's why we're posting it in our groups after we get it done. And we give other people a chance. Someone called me to sell a product and I turned it into a client to teach them a pair. See? That's what I'm talking about, RMBA. Yes, exactly. Hello, Simply Shadet. I mean, it is awesome. And see, that's the leverage. They think they're selling you, but you end up doing an upsell on them. Right? It's all about how you work the product. If you are giving them value and content right yeah it happens a lot right you know and people it does not go down in the dm you know people sit up there and ride my dm on facebook like they are going to town like they own that joint it does not go down in the dm social media <laughs> is to be social and the business happens over there on the web page or on your telephone or what have you <laughs> i i mean come on somebody you know what i'm saying but that's the point these things need to happen you need to have these communities you need to have these places that you're going to i make them go to my website and make an appointment exactly exactly if you want to talk to me bad enough hit my calendarly hit my calendarly there's a discovery call right there that we can have and discuss that that exactly you can hit my calendarly if you're about that business you're about that life you can hit my calendarly <laughs> yes and i mean and i'm not trying to be ugly but you know what is so many different things that people be trying to put in your DM. Okay. <laughs> Queen of no replays. Exactly. Exactly. Have, if you want these replays just for your safety and the fact that your phone may be overload, I would have a catch account. That way that you can pull the ones that you need. Make sure you have um the information that you need and then you take them down but i always use the catch account as my safety net that is very very yeah all types of things in the dm <laughs> my dm looks a wreck right now <laughs> right they're not gonna pick your brain for free yes <laughs> Yeah, we got the hack stars in here tonight, I see. Hello, Deborah. How are you? They will try. And they will try. And see, that's the thing. You know what? You have to set your boundaries. On Periscope, you are given information for free because that's what you do. That's the platform. Okay? Ask in the notes. That's what you get. Set your boundaries, though. 
let them know. It does not go down in the DM. Please set an appointment with me at www. Okay? Or HTTP, uh, HTTP colon backslash. Okay? <laughs> yeah. But you know what? At the end of the day, send me a bitly link with my book it on it. You know what? You know, they may get mad. They may get mad, but at the end of the day, you got to be about your business. You got to set your boundaries because people talk. And if you give somebody this and then you give some, tell somebody that and you sound inconsistent, then they're going to be like, what is really the business? No, you have to set those clear, strong boundaries. Protect your knowledge. Exactly. Protect your knowledge. And that's real talk. That's real talk. That's professional talk. You know, because they will try you. They will try to pull out that pick and pick, 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 pick. But you have to set your boundaries and your limitations, like my brother's saying right here, and make it happen. There's nothing wrong with sending them the calendar link. Yes, come into my scopes. Take notes and purchase the replay. Okay? There's the boundary. There it is. That's how I function. That's how I roll. Okay? You know, Jay Hodge put it down. This is what you do. This is how we roll. This is how the function goes. And that's the same thing with anything that you're doing on Periscope. First off, repurpose your Periscopes. Why waste this valuable knowledge that you are giving to your people in just one place? Make sure you have a YouTube channel presence. If you have a YouTube channel presence, make sure you're keeping you some fresh videos out there. If you have a social media presence, make sure that you are speaking the speak. Put that information out there. Translate it into a blog post. Translate it into a podcast. Translate it into an ebook. Translate. Translate, transcribe, do whatever you want to do with it. Right? Yes! Yes! Do the Twitter cards. Yes! Yeah, you've almost gotten good at it. <laughs> yeah, I use, I use Camtasia and iMovie. Camtasia for one, iMovie for the other. I'd have a podcast as well, so I totally get it. You know, you have to repurpose. Why miss the audience? When you're only doing it in one spot. Oh yeah, you use the free one. So, uh, Windows. If you're doing the Windows one. So, um, repurpose. Right? Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> I have, I'm Mac all day long. Repurpose. Get the YouTube channel hot. Get those podcasts hot. Do you prefer Periscope or Facebook Live? What's the benefits? Very good question. Let's break it down. Okay, so a lot of people right now, and you will probably hear this, that they are starting to do dual. Uh, the new update for Facebook Live is coming out in April, so be looking for it. I'm considering going to the dark side. Matt. Oh, yes! You hacked Facebook Live? Yes! Now, this is a cool thing. If you have the two devices, you want the information out there, let both of the uh, devices run. Let both of the devices run and see which one gives you the most engagement. Yeah, I know. The the uh, Facebook update, a live update is supposed to be off the chain. It's supposed to be off the chain. Once again, techie in my life, right? <laughs> Now, so let both of them run and get the benefits. So the benefits of Facebook Live. The benefits of Facebook Live is the video doesn't go anywhere. You can share it on all kinds of platforms. It's all good. You can download it, put it on the YouTube. All good. All right? The, uh, the comments are bigger, and you can go through the comments, and you can send them out there. That's also a plus. All right, the Plus the uh, Periscope. Hello, Upward Action. How you doing? Hey, Daphne. How you doing? So the per uh, plus is the Periscope. Of course, you know, one screen. 
the Twitters are going. You can hit these Twit, uh, hit the Twitter links, send out people, uh, notes, different things of that nature. Hey! <laughs> and then, um, you can also have your interaction and you can turn these into videos. If you do landscape, then you don't have to worry about a template. It'll fit right into the YouTube channel box. So I'm thinking about starting to do some landscaping. I'm thinking about the landscape. Now, I like Facebook Live for the simple fact that the videos don't go anywhere. You don't have to go buy, get a catch account to keep them. You don't have to overload your phone because you don't have to put them on your phone because it's right there on your screen. You can do it on your business page now as well as your personal profile. So you can test out both of them and see where you get the most engagement from. And you can share. Yes, it doesn't have landscape. That is correct. Uh, that That's probably coming in the uh, update. But their videos are kind of in the right shape to where it would just expand to YouTube. Or it would give you that white box. Yeah. It is on Android. Many Android individuals have Facebook Live. Many do. Many do not. I do not know why they can't do it. Can you share on other people's pages? Yes, the video will go to other people's pages. Yeah, I like that. Now, uh, have you done the update? Are you uh, looking in your uh, phone and see, you don't see the little man with the two circles over his head? Like the little halo? If you see the man with the uh, two circles on his head, yes. It has to be in the app. Yes. So... Uh, do a, uh, do the update to your app, and if you see the man with the two halos, then you are able to do your scope. So you just go in there like you're writing a post, and then when you go to hit uh, to write the post, down in the bottom, you should see a little man with two halos, and you just click him, and that uh, will let you go Facebook Live. A lot of people miss him. A lot of people miss the little man. I don't know why they miss the little man, but they miss the little man. <laughs> it took a while to show up. Yeah, it does. Hello, the artist. How are you? So, now, so we've got some good conversation going. So, now, I'm getting ready to open this up to everybody again. So, the question is, how do you repurpose your scopes? So, tell me. Okay, you post a lot on Facebook. No double halo man yet. Okay. All right. Oh. Have you tried it in the, uh, do y'all have the Pages app? He might be in the Pages app, too. Now, how are y'all repurposing your scopes? Because I know that Pages apps. Yes, there is an app that's just for Facebook Pages. Okay, pod a podcast and sometimes YouTube. Okay. I'm going to have to uninstall and reinstall Facebook. He went away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we just got a new update, Jason. Uh, are, are you Android? New Learning Academies. Awesome. See, that's a good one right there. Um, TC is great with Learning Academies. She is awesome, and she does great LinkedIn ones. I have learned so much from Miss uh, TC Cooper right there, Miss Upward Action. Oh, you're still on private? Oh, you're iOS. Okay, good. Yes, we just had an update, Jason. So go in and just do the update. Yeah. Your linked, linked Impact Academy. Yes, honey. TC is awesome. We know TC is the bomb. Yes. What's the newest update? Um, I think we did a little refocusing, but it's not as major as the Periscope one was. Yeah, but it, it just, it did a Facebook app. And when you did the Facebook app, sometimes the little man goes away. So, yeah, just redo the uh, app. Update the app, and then the man should come back. So, now, I'm going to recap, ladies and gentlemen, because I think I see the numbers going down. So, y'all are probably getting bored with me. <laughs> and that's okay, too. I get it. <laughs> uh, 
it's sleepy time for most people. <laughs> but, so let's recap. Things that spin off a of periscope. I'm doing great. Awesome. Thank you. You have to, <laughs> it's sleepy time. Okay, so let's recap. Keep telling I need, I need a team. Yes, you need a team. I always tell you that. You need a team. <laughs> I'm dropping nuggets. Awesome. So things to spin off a periscope. First off, having a tribe. Having a tribe. How do you have the tribe? You build your Facebook group. You start engaging on the Facebook group. You bring them over into your area. You take them off of Periscope and you start the engagement on Facebook where they can be more engaged and keep the following coming. Okay? You're building your tribe. You're building your brand. Then you have the blabs, things of that nature. That is very important for interviews, podcasting, things of that nature. So if you are going, you can take the sound off of them and put them in iTunes. You can keep them as a video, upload them into YouTube, and now you have a YouTube channel. You can also take those YouTubes, embed them in a blog post. You can put them, yes, you can put them on... Um, on your social media as well. Do I like Anchor? I love Anchor. I love the fact that I get to hear the voices of the people that I've been following. Because some people don't scope. But they will Anchor because people don't see their faces. So I love Anchor. And Anchor you can repurpose as well. Just about the same way without the pictures. Now, also, turning these podcasts into... Blog post, yes, blog posts are very important. That way you can what convert them and use them into lists, turning them to ebooks, turning them into opt-ins. Because we know, we all know that we have to have the opt-in to keep our email fresh. So we can use these periscopes and use these nuggets. Do a five-step checklist. Let's say with this podcast, I would write uh, this uh, scope. I'd write down the four or five different things that I spoke of, right? You can't type fast enough. It's all good, my sister. And I can make a nice, pretty uh, opt-in, put it on my opt-in page, and then that is another repurposing. Thanks for all the help and direction you give us on social media. Oh, thank you, my sister. I appreciate your support. By the way, Dragon Speaks. Uh, yay! You got it? Awesome. I love that one. I love that one. I have that one. I love it. You, I know you will love it. <laughs> and then, of course, with, uh, we also talk about the monetization. We have to talk about the monetization. You can use these uh, these clips and you can turn them into courses that you can sell. You can turn them into packages that you promote. You can turn them into classes. You can turn them into books. All of these different things, you can turn them into what? You can turn them into ebooks, sell them on Amazon or wherever else Miss uh, D. Lee tells you where to sell your books because she's the book queen. <laughs> so, yes. So, all of these different things you can do off of a 30-minute, 45-minute Periscope. How cool is that? You could have a podcast. A video, a blog post, a book. Come on, somebody. Hello, Greg Walker, the big dreamer. That's my guy right there. <laughs> yes, uh, all that cha-ching. Yes, you can have a class all off of a 30-minute Periscope. How cool is that? You can sell your, you know, you can put it all out there. So whatever you want to do with your periscopes, you can do. But you have to remember that you have more of an audience out there 
and you need to repurpose so that all the people know what you're doing and not just your Periscope family. Now, your Periscope family's strong. Don't get me wrong. They're, I'm sure they're converting. But what about your Facebook family, your Twitter family? Right? What about your Instagram family? They need some love, too. What about your Google Plus family, your YouTube family? They need some love, too. That email list, they need some love, too. So spread all of this knowledge out there, repurpose it, say it one time, and repurpose it for the nations, and then you have educated the masses. There you go. So that is my spiel tonight. I hope that it was valuable. If y'all learned something or if this was valuable, please throw me up a little one so I know that I was on track. Preach, girl. I love that, Greg. Thank you. Oh, I got a one. Yay, I got some ones. I appreciate you. I appreciate y'all so much. And I got lots of hearts. I love the hearts. Yes, there are some ones. <laughs> and see... This is the kind of stuff that we'll be bringing to you. Thank you, Big Dreamer. <laughs> so please, 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 if you're just now coming, please catch the replay. It was great stuff. I, you know, we were giving y'all great content, not just from me, but from our audience as well. And to my replay viewers, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you. And to my live vid viewers thank you thank you thank you love you lots all the time so until next time i'm dr akina finch i do education motivation and of course social media and you can find me on www.akinafinch.com until next time bye